Hey guys, welcome to another Optimizing in Unity 5. This is going to be part 3 and I'm going to be showing you how to optimize good things or um, get the best out of textures within your games. Now it's not really, it doesn't have to be specific to Unity 5, but I will go into things that are specifically to do with Unity. But good practices to remember to hold is it really got to think about what sort of asset you're going to create. If you take this for example, this is 1024 by 1024. Um, UV layout with my texture on it and this is for a cardboard box now seeing as though this isn't really a main asset it it doesn't need to be that higher resolution but seeing as though I might end up duplicating this a lot it's good to have a nice resolution it's always good to go at a better resolution and then you can scale it down afterwards because it's not good to start say at 512 and then scale up because you're gonna lose some quality there so if anything make it bigger than you need to then you can scale it down and do some optimization in unity and I will show you that in a bit now I'll give you an example of the sort of resolution difference between certain textures now here I've got a little sort of document which is sized at 2048 by 2048 because it's good to keep your or um, very important to keep your texture size within these boundaries so 2048, 1024, 512 by 512, 256 by 256, 128, 64, and so on. Because you need to be in those increments for the game engine to be able to understand it easy enough. Now you can go higher than that, but if you start going probably above 2048, it's going to be rather large file sizes. And what I would say that I would only recommend to use 2048 is if, say, you've got very large textures which are going to be duplicated a lot i.e. things like walls or floors or ceilings that you might have over and over repeated in your game but like i said if even if you did make it 2048 you could scale it down in photoshop or whatever photo manipulation program you're using or you can scale it down in unity but remember it'll have a larger file size on disk say a 2048 might be 10 megabytes 1024 might be a few megabytes 512 lower and then much lower from there but these are the resolutions that you should stick to I think a regular asset is good to have a thousand twenty four and then you can as I said you can scale it down for an asset that you might not see or will be very small have it as 512 or lower but it's just some sort of things recommendations to stick to one thing that you can do is say I make a new canvas and I make a 2048 canvas for instance this is just an example we can make something called a texture atlas so if I just quickly merge these layers here and I just copy this you will see that I have one texture for this corner so this one texture could be for one of my boxes I could duplicate this and put another texture at this side another texture at this side and another texture here so 1024 makes up 2048 because if you see my example you can see that you can fit 4024 textures into a 2048 and similarly with 512 in 1024 and say imagine all these four are, are all different textures this one could be for a barrel this one could be for a cardboard box this could be for I don't know a television set and then this one could be for a shelving unit and say you've got all these on one texture and it's four different assets sharing the same texture that's going to be a lot more optimized than say four different textures saved out for one particular object it just depends how you want to do it if they're not very important objects you could start a 1024 document put four textures into it and then you will save yourself some optimization it really depends what quality of assets you're trying to make and what resolution you're going for and like I said if you've got a hero asset or something a wall a ceiling a floor 2048 is good one thing to remember is if you're then saving out your asset or saving out your texture say that this is a PSD or whatever um, document it might be if it's got layers it'll probably end up being quite a large file size maybe 30 megabytes something like that if I give you the example I brought something into my unity scene a different cardboard box that I've made now I've got an 1024 diffuse map here and if I open that up with where it's actually saved 
you can see it's a PSD and that's nearly 20 megabytes. That's too much. We don't need it that big. So what I could do is in turn open it up in Photoshop on whichever program. We'll save it out. And then I will drop down and I will save it out as a tag because that's usually a good file format to save it out. We'll save that map out as a tag and you want to make sure that it's 24 bit pixel if you're just using a normal texture and then when we click on it now it'll be only 3 megabytes and it won't have lost that much resolution but it'll be exactly the same one thing that's good about unity is I will delete that so we can see which one is the right one is that it will automatically compress all the textures that are brought in so even though that was 3 megabytes in its file size it will compress it to 0 0.7 megabytes due to its compressed format that it brings in so if I give you an example here and we choose this material and I just apply the diffuse back to it and I zoom in a little bit you can see that this now if we click on the imported texture you can see that it's 1024 by 1024 but Unity's now max size has defaulted it at 2048 now there's no point it being that big if we knock that down to 2000, 1024 and press apply I didn't even see I didn't even see a noticeable difference if I even take that down to 512 and press apply it may well have lost a, a little bit of quality if we take it back it sharpened up slightly but say we take it down to 512 you can see that it's reduced the overall or increased the compression it's only 170 kilobytes so it's less than a megabyte we can even take that down further 256 and yes now it starts looking a bit blurry and that's probably not what you want but it's really dependent on what type of asset or item you make if it's large like this and I will see it up close it's a bit too shiny you want it to have some resolution but if it's only this small and it's really tiny there's no point it being um, compressed at such a large file size because you're never going to be able to see the detail in it so say it was that small we can compress that to say 128 and you then press play look at your object and you probably wouldn't even notice a difference yes you may notice a little bit of difference but it's just some ideas to keep in mind and I will go into this more thoroughly when we are going to import in actual models with collisions and things like that and getting your optimization out of that but this was just a few things to mention about texture specifically so good texture sizes 1024 or lower for normal assets anything that's a really detailed asset or something very repeated you can have a larger texture you can create texture atlases which have multiple different textures on one texture sheet and make sure you make your textures bigger than they need to because you can always compress them down afterwards then remember to give them a good file size uh, file type so don't save them out as PSD if you've got a lot of layers because it will be ridiculously file sized save them out as a target and when you bring into unity you can select that um, model or text you brought in and you can compress it however you want and um, depending on what type of asset you've got so hopefully this helped people get some sort of ideas and clarification if you needed it on textures and working with that within your game engine. So thanks very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.